Hi everyone, welcome to this video. As some of you may know, I actually worked in my friend's funeral company for a few months before uni started and right now I'm actually having my uni holidays so this video is like clearly overdue but I still wanted to post this up because it's one of the most memorable experiences I've had in my life and I thought that it would be good to share it with you all as well so that we can have a better understanding of the funeral industry here in Singapore. But before that, I do need to give some disclaimers that this video will actually feature funeral related things like coffins and all of that. So please watch at your own discretion. But other than that, I hope that y'all enjoy this video and feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. Without further ado, let's play the video! Hi guys, so this weekend I'm actually working and I thought that maybe I could show you guys how a weekend shift is like working in a funeral company. Today is Saturday and I received a call at 4.45 a.m. that someone has passed on. So now it's 5.45 and I'm in the van with Yao Hui. So we are going to Mount Elizabeth Hospital at Novena to actually pick up the body. Um, yeah, and then that's how our day will start. So this is the one set of clothes that the deceased will be changed into uh, when we are putting her into the coffin. So they will bring it back to the embalming care centre to change her and do the embalming. Okay, so we are at Sing Ming now to um, Hock Hin, which is actually Harmony's grandfather's um, funeral company. So, we are gonna set up the wig venue, which is at the funeral parlor over there. So today is quite busy because we actually have two setups that has to be done um, by noon. So we are all doubling up and the guys are helping the girls, the girls are helping the guys. We cannot miss the timing because timing is very important. So this is the street where all the funeral parlor is at Sing Ming Drive. Hello Eugene! Hi Hi Ahui! <laughs> so I'm alone in the car now because I'm gonna rush back to the Pai Lewa office to prepare the funeral portrait photo as well as the notice which has all the important details about the funeral and I'm gonna be at the office alone uh, so I need to quickly do and then come back here again to Sing Ming to join the rest of the team to load up the coffin and head to Tampani's funeral parlor so I'm gonna drive now and it's raining ah, okay <laughs> Okay, so I just finished doing the funeral portrait photo for the latest case that we got this morning. Can't really show you guys everything because of privacy reasons. But yeah, so I'm actually going to drive alone to Singapore Funeral Parlor, which is at Tampanese, to meet up with the rest of them. And then we will set up uh, this wig venue uh, after that. So now it's about 2.15pm 
and we are actually finally going to have our lunch because we have been working non-stop since the morning, since 6am at Mount E non-stop because um, there were so many things to do, there was like, what do we do? Collect and send all this. Yeah, so on our job, we always have our meals at really um, weird timings because sometimes we are just too busy that we just can't have our meals lah. So now we're gonna have some food, some mihun kueh and some yes sir. Wow, food. Hi guys, sorry if I look so dead because as you all know, we started our day so early at 6 a.m. And we have been working non-stop until now. It's about 3 p.m. already. So the guys have actually gone home to rest because we have already completed setting up the two wigs earlier today. But I'm still in the office now because later tonight at 8 o'clock, I have to go attend one of the night service at one of the wig venues because I'm in charge of doing up the live stream service. Because I think um, some of the family members are actually overseas in their home country. So because of COVID, they can't be present at the wig. Lah. So they depend on the live stream to actually tune into the service. Yeah. But in the meantime, what I'm doing is I printed photos. And I'm going to be pasting them up on the wall. Because tomorrow, we are celebrating Eugene's 21st birthday after... I mean, at night lah. Tomorrow, we are really, really, really busy. And you probably can tell if you continue watching on. That marks the end of Saturday Yay. and tomorrow it's super packed because there's actually three funeral send-offs as well as uh, we have to go to the airport first thing in the morning for the to export the ashes that I prepared just now. So get ready for a busy weekend. This is like See. one of the busiest weekends that I have experienced, huh? Mm. Yeah, so good That's night. one minute. See you tomorrow. <laughs> at the first wake venue of the day which is at Church of St. Stephen's and let me show you what we do while preparing for the send off. Hi Anil. Hello. He's actually picking the flowers so that we can actually allow the family members to place all these pretty flowers uh, in the coffin later. Then we pick out all the banners here. Mm. Yeah. yeah so they will have to actually do like a tear down uh, of the place before the uh, coffin actually hits to Mandai. So as the guys actually keep the different logistics, I'm gonna be preparing the live stream as well as taking videos for the family because I will create a video montage um, after the end of every funeral so that families can have like a video to look back on. Mandai for our first cremation of the day and we're actually gonna be here a total of three times because there's three cremation today.
risotto. So there you are. <laughs> we are cutting the flowers for the camera. Yeah. To place in the coffin. As in, you okay. can't see that you are cutting the flower. You know what you are doing? Explain here? lah. Uh, explain. Okay, so. Ooh, we ooh remove, fancy. We remove the thorns so they doesn't poke the bearer's head. Hands. So nice. As nice as Nico. Ah, thank you! Thank you, everyone! <laughs> so, usually before the hearse arrives, we will try to arrive first in order to actually prepare all these things beforehand so that when the family members enter the service hall, it will be all set up. We actually are going to split the team up because we have to rush back to the third wake venue. Faster! <laughs> yeah. Turn here! <laughs> yeah, okay wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, put up the chair. Faster, faster! Okay, Let okay. Go. Stop! Stop video! No, I need to... Okay. <laughs> yeah, Hi so... guys, I'm the airport Ahmad. driver. Ahmad! <laughs> yeah, so we are actually going to the third week venue to prepare for the funeral send off lah. so <coughs> everyone's really tired yeah so we gotta it's split a long day. we gotta split the team so 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 that be nice last one for the day We just finished that Monday for the day, uh, three funerals down and uh, we're packing up to go head back to office and prep ourselves for the next one. Yeah, and that's my weekend working in a funeral company.